Body Count's a really intense arcade shooter. Um, it's a back to basic shooter. It's all about the gun experience. I'm Body Count's game director. That means I'm responsible for the vision. Uh, there's a few weapons in the game. We've not focused on a massive roster. We've taken a smaller list of weapons that we liked and we've polished the hell out of them. I'm the principal weapon designer at Body Count. Basically anything that lends itself to the presentation of the guns in the games I've had a hand on. Firing a weapon in real life is quite a, quite a visceral, dynamic experience and we've tried to emulate that as best we can. I mean, through synchronisation of things like rumble, pumping the field of view, rising the camera, doing the recoil, really trying to get that sense of that punch in the weapon coming through the TV, through the pad. As part of the level design team on Body Count, my job is primarily to help design and build the environment that the gameplay takes place in. Oh. For me as a designer, it's quite an important thing for the player to um, feel like they have a choice. And so, yeah, the weapons are big, they're very strong, pretty angry, and there's quite a lot of nuance in them. So we're really trying to get the player to understand them and, you know, come to find their favorites. My favorite weapon in there would probably be the, the shotgun. Really good fun to use up close. You can blow people off their feet through windows, through walls, all kinds of things. I mean, it's a real satisfying gun to use. The intensity of body count mostly comes from the shredding. So you're not able to hide anywhere very long, particularly if you're outdoors behind a pile of something. What you'll find is that as the bullets start flying, you actually take a lot of fire through cover and that keeps you moving. So the cover lean mechanic in body count is our attempt to introduce a non-sticky cover system for an FPS. So you grab the left trigger, it routes you to the spot in a semi-iron sight mode, but then you've got full range of movement on both the analog sticks that allows all that pivoting and weaving about. So what we're trying to do with the focus mode is bring the gun back so it's not covering the thing, but the, you know, obviously the field of view widens, you go closer into the gun, the audio for the gun changes, then you can hear the internal workings of the gun a little bit more. You know, the, the impression we wanted to get was you getting on top of the gun, and then when you fire the gun, it's obviously very wild, but in the way we handle the recoil and everything, we get hold of the gun and we tame the beast and stuff to bring it back down. Explosions, VFX, all of that stuff, very, very important to the game. So if a bullet hits something, if a grenade goes off, we want you to feel that the world has been impacted, and part of that is having big, meaty explosions and tons of stuff flying everywhere. But if an explosion goes off in a dark place, it's obviously a brand new light source. So in reality, your eyes would struggle to you know, accept that light in, so everything kind of blooms out, essentially. And we've kind of simulated things like that in the game as well, We're even down to the muzzle flashes. Uh, my favourite weapon is actually one of the ones we've invented uh, for the target, who are the bad guys in the game. We've taken some real-world style technology, it's basically a portable railgun called the Kaluka, and we've completely fantasised it, so we've created a really powerful and brutal weapon that's very, very effective. For me personally, it's got to be the shotgun every time. It forms two roles. Firstly, it's brilliant for shredding, especially in multiplayer, it's really useful for getting through those walls quickly. But also, if you've got an enemy between you and that wall, you'll blow them straight through. You know, we've, we've definitely done something that is different to everything else out there. It's dynamic, it's fun. FPS fans are going to enjoy body count because it actually feels um, impactful to fire a weapon. We spent a lot of time crafting that and making it feel really, really violent. What we're trying to do is just make it all just crazy over the top.